Hi, I'm Mike Halsey, the author of Troubleshooting Windows 7 Inside Out from Microsoft Press. In this video, I'm going to look at how we can repair corrupt boot files that are preventing Windows 7 from loading. I talk about this in Chapter 15 of the book. Sometimes the boot files that are required for Windows 7 to load become corrupt and need to be repaired. To do this, you'll need either a startup repair CD or your original Windows 7 installation DVD. A Windows Startup Repair CD or DVD will take you straight into the Windows Startup Repair options, but if you're running the Windows 7 installation DVD instead, click through the first option where you're asked which language you want to install in, and at the next page, instead of pressing the Install Now button, click the Repair Your Computer link. Once you're presented with the System Recovery Options menu, you'll want to click on Command Prompt. It's here that we'll be able to type the commands we need to rescue the boot files in Windows 7. Once you get to the Command Prompt, you now need to type the following commands in order to repair the boot files in Windows 7. This first command creates a backup of the Windows 7 boot menu. You can use this command with the Import switch later on if you need to restore that backup. Now we need to navigate to the hard disk on which you have Windows 7 installed. In this case we'll assume it's the C drive though, on your computer it might be different. Once on that drive we need to navigate to the boot menu. Now we need to change the attributes of an important file, BCD, so that we can perform actions on it. This command renames that BCD file to bcd.old to create a backup. You can also rename the .old file back if you need to restore that backup. Finally, we use the bootrec command with the rebuild bcd switch. This rebuilds all the boot files for Windows 7. There are other switches you can use with the bootrec command that you may find helpful. FixMBR can be used to write a new master boot record in Windows 7. Fix boot will write new boot sector to the disk. And ScanOS can be used to search for any Windows installations on your computer. There's also the BCD edit command, which is used to edit the boot menu. There's more information about these commands and other commands you can use to rescue a non-functioning Windows 7 installation in Chapter 15 of the book. I hope you found this video helpful and thank you for watching.